If they won't come for the pay, maybe just don't pay them at all. Aurora Police has a need for more police officers, like pretty much every other department in the state. So now one city councilwoman has a plan to fill those spots with unpaid officers. Here's Marshall Zellinger. When Aurora City Council got an update on Aurora Police job openings last month, they were shown 68 vacancies, with 11 officers having just left in May. Any extra help would help with morale. Aurora City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski will start discussion tonight on this ordinance, allowing for a reserve police force in Aurora. Volunteer, why would someone take an unpaid police job when there are 68 paid openings? There are a lot of people um, who they can't commit full time. Turns out there are currently 230 reserve officers throughout Colorado, some with full training like a police officer or sheriff's deputy, others with basic certification, meaning they can assist officers and deputies. The idea has started because we want to actually take some of our uh, firefighter medics and have them in with our SWAT team as tactical medics. The Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office has six SWAT medics from South Metro Fire Rescue. The general duties of a reserve deputy in Arapahoe County include take law enforcement action to defend themselves or others. The overall goal is to strengthen um, the numbers in our police department. Separately from this reserve police force idea, Jarinski at a public safety committee meeting earlier this month was unfiltered after one of the police union presidents talked about morale being the lowest he's ever seen. If you are not as committed to rebuilding our image with the community as you are to rebuilding the trust within the department, I don't care who it is in the chief's office, you can get the out. What's the message there? So the message is that we very much need to um, continue to strengthen our relationship with the community and work to rebuild that. But it seems like um, the current interim chief is only focused on that and only focused on the appearance of the department and is not stabilizing the department and is not working on morale within the department with amongst the officers. I reached out to the interim chief, Art Acevedo, about both parts of this story. I didn't hear back from him. He was busy today. Gave him short notice. Not his fault. Reserve officers are certified through the same peace officer training as real officers so they can be armed. It's just a matter of can they be alone like a recently retired officer or supervised by someone else in real time? Mark. Sure. So like you said during the story, there are plenty, dozens of openings right now that are paid openings at the Aurora mm -hmm. Police Department. So that begs the question, why would anybody take the volunteer position when they could be paid? Great question. I mean, Jarinski points out you may have someone who's recently retired that could offer five to 10 hours, maybe doesn't want to jeopardize their social security or some other government funded thing that they're getting that they can't take a, a full salary. But the idea that maybe there's for very specific people, for, yeah, people that that have a, a desire to help, but limited time and maybe, you know, eight hours, 10 hours. Sure, I'll, that seems fun and I'm helping the city. Why not? It's a novel idea. We'll see how it works out. Yeah. Marshall, thank you.